Today's way is a trip up to Yorkshire again. It's Castlewood House Wigan. So it's going towards the coach. Just halfway up to Yorkshire, we just stopped at the welcome break services at Hartshead Mall. So we're just still on the way to Castlewood, we stopped at the services, we're just in the St. Helens team. Who hopefully don't do too well tonight at Wakefield, fingers crossed. Just arrived up in Castleford at the Mendehouse Jungle. A lot earlier than usual. A little difference you'll notice, I don't know whether the flash can show it at Castleford, is next to the stadium there is a mini training pitch, as you can see there, on the sticks with the mini training pitch. So we're just going into the stadium now. Just by the turnstiles, just had a fellow come up and ask me if I'm the first who does the away days, which means I'm popular already up in Castleford. It was a Wigan fan. This is the turnstiles. Just over the Tiger Bar, which is the refreshment, which is a very good place to get refreshments. Just going through the turnstile now. Just going through the turnstiles. The program here is three pound, which is black and amber. Chelsea. In terms of concessions, we have the Tiger Bar, which is reasonably priced from what I've been told. Stands over the far side and the Golden Road End, which is in the far corner. It's a bit windy over here with it being Yorkshire. We're going to the away end now. Very bright up here in Castlewood. Yeah, the way it's family entrance, you can see it's very well lit. On to the terraces now. Castlewood has three stands at the terrace, which is amazing, so we're going to have a quick walk around the back. Reasonable pitch. I'm looking at this. Got a main stand over there in the corner with Seaton. Got a standing end over there at the far side. Pinter the Street over there, and you've got the World North End here, which is where most of the away fans gather up. Pre match entertainment here circles around the Castleford floors, the cheerleaders. Not long until kickoff, both teams currently on the pitch. Atmosphere building here at the Mendel Jungle. Not as intimidating as it was last year, mine, but fairly quiet at the moment. We can come out to, I'd say, a pretty decent applause. That's what you can say. Castle was shouting something I can't really tell, but probably not that interesting, really, is it? So. <laughs> right, this is what you call an atmosphere. See? That's how it's done. <laughs> what? Castleford coming to the arena. Like being in a box and fight, but from his price. I got a bit of abuse from them there. Did you not see me walking through? Wigan came out and I was going, ah. They gave me a bit. Even though they nicked our song. Sounds like I'm at Wigan this, so cheerleaders leave the field, flags in the field. So, mascots off, flags off, players on the pitch. Cows will be chicken down this end, so let's just see. So, while St. Helens are probably going to win easily over Wakefield, let's hope it's not as easy over here. Because I'd love them to get beat and I'd love to rub it in on the way home. So. <laughs> right, we can kick off. We can Castleford. Here we go. Half time entertainment, the same from the cheerleaders from before. 
not really much entertainment, but better than the Wigan team was in the first half. <laughs> Where are you going? Here come Wigan! This has got to be a lot better. So I'm going to just have a little short one, and then if I start doing it, I'll say it a couple of times a week. I can't think of the words, but whatever it is, it means it's got to be a lot better. Let's go for a run. But I'm yeah. doing it. 22 4 and a half time is not a very good scoreline. Second half to kick off in a minute, which way for Castle. Go on, Here comes Catfulford. Let's hope we have a repeater last night. Fuck up, lad! Well, I've seen bad Wigan performances, but that pretty much tops a lot. 42 14, worst away game in a long time. Thank God we're playing at home next week. Well, an away day that certainly won't go down as a good memory. I have to say, and on that, that was the worst away I've been to as a Wigan fan. Performance wise. But. Castle with themselves did themselves proud. Got the first win. And an away day aside from the performance, a <laughs> reasonably decent one, filth facility wise. Despite the age of the stadium and the recent collapse of one of the stands in pre season, it is quite a good stadium to visit. I've been there twice now, even though I left disappointed both times by the performances. Good stadium all round.